it's really important always to affirm the feeling. Underneath that first feeling will be something like fear or anger. You are wondering, you are pondering, you're trying to make sense of. So if a child was coming to me and saying, oh, I'm worried about the earthquakes and the ground shaking, it's really important again to affirm the emotion and to say, yep, me too. It made me feel quite scared. However, we are safe now and there are people working around us to keep us safe. And no matter what it is, whether it's COVID or shootings or whatever else is going to happen, it's always about respecting the child's feeling and saying, actually, it is going to be okay. None of us have the answer to everything and it's okay to put up your hand and say I don't know but I know I'm going to be okay because again I'm connected to my family again I'm connected to people that I love and again I can lean into them and say I'm a bit scared at the moment can you help me because not everybody's scared all the time we all kind of take turns in it and that's really cool as human beings we need to remember to be kind to ourselves we are so sometimes focused on getting it right. We're just not going to. As soon as you realise that you can relax and start to relay the truth of who you are and what it is that you want to achieve for your child. If it is to aspire to be someone who is joyful and loves life, then do it. That's the most important thing. Everything else, all the other stuff that's happening, falls away because at the end of the day life is great and it is to be joyed and it is to be lived to its very very most because when you start sitting in the worry and the doubt or concern of yourself then everything else follows but when you start to open up what more do you want? We work in partnership with parents who sometimes go oh, it's a bit daunting day that's cool you got this We've got your back, it's no worries. This is about kahikanga, about unity, about all of us standing collectively together and facing the sun and opening up the experience for all of us. And that's what we need to do for our children.